Hey guy, Nerking101 here, and I just want to do a quick video talking about Injustice, the movie, not coherent. This movie does not deserve a coherent review. I wasn't even going to review it. Like, halfway, I don't talk about the DC animated movie because they're normally not very good. <laughs> like, they're normally, they're normally, okay, they're not bad, but they're normally just good. Like, you watch them, they're normally an adaptation of a book, and you're like, oh. Like, oh, the Long Halloween adaptation is good, okay? Everybody likes the Long Halloween. It's a good book. Whatever. Um, I'm in the process of catching up to One Piece. I'm working on that. My Avatar video. And, you know, and, a couple of, and I'm finally done with that Evangelion project. Because I'm just taking a break. I'm trying to figure out how to work around copyright for Evangelion. And... I get here, and I show up, and last night I'm exhausted, I see the movie down, I w I'm up to like 1, I see the movie down, I'm like, eh, I'll watch. So it's late at night, I'm watching this movie, yet I can't sleep, and I knew it was out, and I just wanted to try to enjoy Evangelion, and, not Evangelion, this Injustice movie, and I'm looking at this Injustice movie. And in the beginning, I'm, like, in interested, like, some people are, like, in the first 8 minutes, I knew it was terrible. I think that's an exaggeration, because it's a thing. Tom Taylor is my favorite comic book writer from either of the big two in the West. He's my favorite Western comic book creator. Obviously, my favorite comic book, comic of all time is One Piece. But out of the Western creator from like Marvel and DC, um, my favorite creator is Tom Taylor. Me and Ma uh, yes, I'm counting manga because manga and comic books are literally the same thing. Manga is literally just a Japanese word for comic book. But whatever. But oh my god, bring it on in the comments. I don't care. But uh, wow. This is a really bad movie, because this is the thing. The stuff that is a direct adaptation of Tom Taylor's book, it's great. Like, if, it's a direct, if, it, if, if it is a direct adaptation of Taylor or the game, it's good. The, the game, not great. It's still better than this. And Tom Taylor, the comic book, Injustice Year 1 to Year 5 are fantastic. Go buy them. You can get them. You can get the whole thing on Comicsology, like all the volumes. But probably cost you, like, $30. Which is, considering it's, like... You know, on Comicsology is like five trade paperbacks. Actually, it's like six or seven because I couldn't find year five in one cut the volume. But it's like thirty bucks. It's totally worth it. But wow, like it's just so, so, so terrible. Like it's appallingly bad. First of all, but that's from the book though, it's great. Like, the first, like, 20 minutes of the film that are just, like, the lowest playing death stuff, that's great. Um, by the way, Janet Var Varney, I believe her name is, who played Korra in Legend of Korra. She kills Wonder Woman, she kills the, she kills her, I don't know the name of the guy who played Batman, he's also killed Batman. But really, John, Janet, Va Janet Varney was like the standout performance of this film for me. The guy who plays Superman, I was indifferent to. So many people have done it. He's no, uh, he's no Daily and he's no Newborn. New Newborn? He's neither of those two. He's no George Newborn and no, uh, Tim Daly. But he's fine, I guess. But, and he's certainly no, like, Tom Hecklin. But, uh, wow. Just wow. He's. Everything else in this movie is terrible. Um, the, the guy who voices Joker is fine. As I said, when you're adapting the Tom Taylor stuff, they're at their strongest. But the problem is that the pace is like this. Like, bullet point, bullet point, bullet point, bullet point. It's like, it's like you're going a, it's like you're running. You're going a thousand miles a minute. And the thing is, the reason that's the problem for me is that they stop. To do things like, like you had these like really quick snapping sequences of Superman taking over all these fictional countries, and then they do the famous, and then they literally just do, unless interestingly, uh, angles, like the camera angle is then it's interesting, I guess you could say, of the Israel Palestine theme from the book, without, without any of the dialogue either that made it cool. Like in the book, like, they're, they danced around it. The only reason you would know it's Israel Palestine is if you look at the flag. I had to double check. In the book, the book is very clear at Israel and Palestine. Like, the book is abundantly clear about that. Um, this comic book isn't, which is annoying, because they stop for, like, a good minute 
just show him talking to the leader. But they don't have, like, the text, like the book does, that tells you, like, it, like in, in, in the thing, you literally see Israel. Like, it tells you where it's taking place, which gives you all the necessary context. In this, it's a lot of fictional countries, it's a lot of one-offs, it's very quick. But, like, Bishop Palestine, they stop. So they go from, like, breakneck pace, they take them, like, two minutes on Superman talking to the world leader. Who, unless you know the flags in the background that aren't even fully visible, you wouldn't even know who they are because the, the movie doesn't tell you. It's like the movie is afraid to put it on front center display. But whatever. And to make it a blank of the book, what's, what's going on. Also, like, in the movie, we were at, do you want to get how fast this movie moves? I uh, looked away. I had to, I like, turned over here. I had some chips over there. I turned. I grabbed my bag of chips. I looked back, and Flash was dead. No, like, I found out afterward that Flash died. I didn't even know he died. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of, like, cool stuff, like, a lot of the characters aren't involved, like, the comic. Like, the comics, it's a war. This is, like, a smaller scuffle than Marvel's crappy Captain America Civil War movie. Yeah, I, I think Civil War is a fine movie, by the way. I think, uh, in terms of adapting, like, the scale of Civil War, I think it failed massively. But, wow, just... Such a bad movie, it's just so bad. Like, everything else is so quick, and there's, like, scenes, like, when Super, like, when the character just flashed, it's very much, like, invincible. They just almost just appear on screen, but then use a little effect to make it seem like they're moving, when you do have to go frame by frame, but they're not. Like, and, like, some of the things, like, they have a couple of things from the book. They had the quiver joke. Like, they had the joke about Green Arrow, right? Like, they had the quiver thing, but unlike the comics that take place, it, it, it condenses year one to year five and parts of Injustice 2 into, like, an hour and 90 minutes. So, like, but they stopped to tell the joke about the Arrow Cave and calling it the quiver with Harley and her. But then Harley and him have, like, no emotional role. It's just, like, it's it just, like, clips. It's like they're just animating clips from the book. Like, isn't it cool? Isn't it cool? Like, but there's no emotional weight to it. We don't have any of the other content. Like, like, in any, in the only emotional moment, which is, uh, when Selena comforts comfort Bruce after, uh, Dick dies. But by the way, they get rid of the rock, so Damien literally is just a, a murderer, Damien just murdered his own brother. <laughs> like, I'm like, I was looking at the comic where it clearly a mistake, and Damien's like, oh no, I murdered my older brother. <laughs> and like, toss, hit, fall. And he falls, like, he hits him the head, and he falls over, and he dies, and it's like, he, he, he got hit from Damien Baton. Not from The Rock. Dude, Damien just a murderer. <laughs> like, outright and call blood. Damien just murdered Dick. Which is, which is wonderful, I guess, right? Oh, I don't like this movie. Um, I was really excited for it because while I'm not a big fan of the evil Superman trope, I think Injustice in the comic book did it best. I, I love the descent Tom Taylor gives him, like, the descent into madness. I I've seen Tom Taylor being one of my favorite writers. It was just disappointing to see his book turned into this. And, uh, yeah. I mean, it's just a really bad book. And, like, it's just really bad. Evil, good Superman showed up in the end. Okay, let's talk about a good thing. One, as I said at the beginning, it's great. The guy who voices Joker is when he first appears and kidnapped Lois. There's something that the way he does the voice, he's just unsettling. I mean, it was because I was watching it or late at night, but he was unsettling. Um, I do like that the, when the good Superman shows up, he's wearing, like, the classic Superman clothes. I always, like, hated that about the game. How, like, the, the good Superman still looks and uses the moves of, like, a jackass. Like, the, but this good Superman in the movie is wearing, like, the bright, colorful outfit. He had, like, his bright trunks and bright red cape. It's actually, like, a brighter color. It, it, he stands out from the evil version of Superman, um... Yeah, no, it's just not good. Like, honestly, it's just the kind of thing you watch, you're like, this is the, they also, all the characters have black lines on their knuckles. Don't act why, try, don't try to ignore it, you can't, and you're going to notice it, just put up with it, it's really frustrating. Um, you know, the black lines are weird, nobody, I, I, I it, 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 is it because they can't draw knuckles? I understand! Particularly the men, though, it's not as bad on the women, but the women don't have this problem. All the men, from what I thought, I don't think the women have this problem. But then again, there's not, but then again, there's no women in this movie, by the way. The movie has no respect for women. But the women in this movie are all vehicle for the plot. It's barely that. I mean, all the men have these, like, ugly black lines. It's 
but on their hand, like, on their knuckles. It's like, can they not draw male knuckles? <laughs> because the hands are bigger. Like, the, their hands are like, but men have like these big, bulky hands. They have like square knuckles. They have like black lines on them. Can they not draw masculine knuckles? <laughs> I don't understand why the men have, to have like black lines on their knuckles. They're literally just black squares on the knuckles like they're not like they're not even shading they're just, like they stand out and you notice it it's almost like it wasn't done being animated it's weird oh my god but uh the women um the women in this movie are terrible um like we, we lose black canary which is just appalling the black canary is like great in the book like black canary is like one of bruce's long-term supporters in the book like uh, we loot Black Canary. We loot. So, so, who, who else do we loot? We loot Black Canary, which is appalling to me. Catwoman does nothing. Aside for the key scene at the fortress, but by the way, no pills in this. And then it's a red sun gun Superman invented and just left in his house. Also, Ma's dead. Martha Ken is dead in this. And it's just Jonathan. So, wait, I guess. And I think Jonathan dies instead of just being saved. And then it's just being injured, and oh my god, please stop. Oh, so bad. Oh, and Wonder Woman. So Wonder Woman, like the comic book, is like on board with Superman, right? And then Superman goes in the first year and murders like the Joker protesters. Yeah, you know that scene from like year five? Yeah, yeah. With the Joker gang when he murders them all. Yeah, he does that in year one, and Batman and Catwoman watch him do it. Like... Kevin's kind of like, you can't save them here, bro. And like, hold them up and just puts his arms around her shoulder. It's so stupid looking. So she holds Bru back. And then Wonder Woman's like, okay, that's weird. You just murdered those children. And I'm like, oh. Are they going to fix the problem with the comic with Wonder Woman at the very least? Where Wonder Woman becomes like a fascist, crazy, child murdering, molesting monster? Who like, who is like, Find out Superman put her sidekick Cassie in the Phantom Zone, and it's like, sorry, sis. Sorry, bro. I didn't know he did that. Thing. But you know, you just join us. Okay, okay, sis, I got you. Superman trapped in the Phantom Zone for five years. Now, why don't you come work for Superman with me? It's like, it's, like, it's insane. Like, even Cassie's like, Diana, he trapped me in the Phantom Zone for five years. And she's like, ooh. And just this one woman sucks, the monster. But in this, you're like, okay. And then they fight Amazo like they did with Injustice 2 at the end, and they like team up. And Wonder Woman is like, we should let them go. Like, just today. Wonder Woman is on board for continuing the war. And Superman is like, no, I need to arrest, arrest, arrest or kill Batman. And Wonder Woman's like, oh, you're off your chain. And Wonder Woman, like, she should have like, had in the Injustice book. It's like, you're off the chain. And then you're like, oh my god. Are we gonna get a Wonder Woman versus Superman animated fight in this movie? Like, is that where the budget went? Like, are we ending year one with, like, a Wonder Woman versus Superman fight? Where Superman, like, beats Wonder Woman and that's, like, you know, like, the descent into power. But then he also has lost half the regime. Also, he just steals Green Lantern rings and then we lose Green Lantern the rest of the movie. Like, he doesn't even give it that. And you ever seen in the beginning, in the comic, like, when Green Lantern's like, you suffered a great loss, chill, you take the ring off. He just does that, puts the down and leaves, and we don't, I don't think we see Green Lantern again. Which is like, what? Oh no, we do, we do. Uh, the, 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 the lanterns are called back to Oa. For literally no reason. But, uh, yeah, they're, they're gone. And, uh, the so Wonder Woman is like, Superman, don't kill Batman. Uh, you know, he just, we just saved the world together. Maybe we should just all go home and go cool off like a day. And, and Superman's like, nah! And Black Wonder Woman, he fits it out of frame. And then I'm getting, we're getting ready for, like, Wonder Woman to come back at any entity that did Batman. I'm like, okay, so now Wonder Woman's gonna come in and block the bl No. Good Superman shows up, and then Wonder Woman doesn't do anything the rest of the movie. All Wonder Woman does in this movie is fly around, murder people off screen, be a love interest for Clark, get beat up by Clark, and then get thrown off screen until she can fly heroically when they arrest Superman, who is her love interest. It's so bad. This movie's terrible. It sucks. 
I can't really, it, it's honestly, I can't go into why without rewatching it, because it's so fast-paced, I actually don't really, un, it's hard to put into words every problem with this movie, but you have to rewatch it in, like, slow mode, because it goes so quickly. This is the worst movie, this is the worst movie DC's ever made. Animation or live action, it's the worst movie they've ever made. There is no heart, no desire to make it good, it's a, it, it screen corporate cash grab, in a so in the most soulless of foreign where it doesn't even look presentable. It's a terrible, terrible, terrible movie. A zero out of ten. I don't think I'd ever give anything. I, I give anything one out of ten, like Fairy Tale and Super, but Dragon Ball Super. But yeah, yeah, zero out of ten. Don't watch. Don't pay for it. I've I've never said it before, but honestly, if you really want to watch it, um. I won't say the actual word, but there are places to find it. It, 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 it. This is the worst thing DC's ever made. That isn't a comic. It may be even worse than stuff. Not including some of the really offensive books DC have put out. Like the offensive garbage DC have put out over the years. This may be the worst thing that company's ever produced. It's appalling. Like... It's not even, like, disappointing. It's just, it's just like, you finish watching, you know, texting one of my friends, I was like... This is really bad. So, yeah. Injustice sucks. There is my, like, 15, 17 minute video, unedited, of me just being like, I'm exhausted, if you can't tell, I'm tired while I'm recording this, but I just wanted to get this out, being like, Injustice sucks. It's a terrible, terrible movie.